good morning dear students welcome back to biochemistry session so now today we are going to discuss about factors affecting on enzyme activity so let us discuss uh, this is my powerpoint presentation i'm going to uh, show you the first uh, slide of the powerpoint presentation. We are going to uh, discussion about uh, different kind of factors influencing on enzyme activity then before to that so what are enzymes enzymes are the biological catalyst it is nothing but each and every biochemical reaction inside the biological system it requires enzymes so now finally the enzymes acts as a catalyst then it carried out the chemical reactions and simply so they are maybe made up of proteins so all enzymes are proteins in nature without uh, some exceptions are there uh, like here uh, you know this one catalytic rna molecules or ribosomes containing enzymes some of the enzymes are exceptional cases but most of the 90 percent of enzymes are all are proteins in nature okay then now we'll look at another slide this is just about the enzymes so, so what is the definition of enzyme and what is the nature of enzyme and how it functioning the functioning is simply it acts as a catalyst like same in our organic chemistry laboratory for example we are conducting some chemical reactions so we are adding some catalyst and also we are applying heat in uh, yeah we are applying energy in the form of heat also but what about in the biochemical reaction so the enzymes are acts as a catalyst in biochemical reactions okay then so what is the activity of enzyme next coming to come to know about the activity of enzyme and how it will catalyze the reaction so this is uh, next slide and this one enzyme catalyzed reaction so the basic enzymatic reaction can be represented so here s yes is there and e is there so these two are the reactants simply then the starting materials of the reaction so it is a just uh, look at it is a uh, assuming it is a biochemical reaction representation so how the enzyme will catalyze so e it represents the enzyme it will catalyze the complete reaction in biochemical or biological system so s in the sense it is a substrate so here the substrate is yeah i can use this pen also uh, and mostly yeah this color so here this is a substrate okay this substrate is binds with the enzyme when it will interfere with the enzyme or when it is binding with the enzyme so enzyme also having some sites so those are the active sites of the enzyme so here the substrate will binds to active site of the enzyme then the reaction is going on here this enzyme will catalyze the reaction and it produce the substrate finally it converts into the product and now after complete the reaction that catalyst again it is free in nature then again it is available to next coming reaction also so here the complete substrate or starting material which gives end product or which gives the product so here substrate plus enzyme and here also another uh, intermediary reaction also i can write here yes uh, substrate plus and also enzyme then it will give rise to uh, substrate ion enzyme complex substrate ion enzyme complex here so in between okay then where uh, you know about uh, you are all clear with this one s is what and e is what and p is what okay yeah next coming to the next slide so this is uh, how the enzyme will act the action of enzyme only then here when it is a substrate bind with the active side of enzyme and finally which gives our the substrate it turns into product and enzyme again it will free so next one so this is the just overview i will represent this one i will explain one so, so here this is a enzyme okay this one is enzyme and here the whole portion of the enzyme is not active some portion or some part of the enzyme this is nothing but the made up of protein only okay then protein 
it uh, it is also made up of by amino acid simply so some of the amino acid residues in a peptide chain are in a protein so enzymes are made up of protein so some portion or some part of the enzyme is active that site is responsible for the binding with the substrate so the site called as active site the site called as active site so here uh, this is the molecule a this one is the substrate just assume and the molecule a substrate is bind with the active site of enzyme okay then substrate plus enzyme these two are the starting materials and now enzyme is acts as the catalyst only then here the st starting metal is only one one substrate is present in this reaction okay then now uh, look at the second step and this is the first one enzyme and this one is the substrate and the substrate in molecule a is binding with the active side of the enzyme and it forms enzyme substrate complex okay enzyme substrate complex and the enzyme will start the catalysis process so we will catalyze the reaction so now the substrate is converts into product so this enzyme is again free in nature and the substrate so here the, you look at this one just here the color may be different here and shape of the uh, diagrammatic representation is different so here this is one uh, another color and shape also different and this one color and shape also different because it is a product okay here this one is a starting material and this one is a product okay then molecule b that's why here representing as the molecule a and molecule b so the molecule a is in a substrate and molecule b is in a product so now again enzyme is free okay so this is the just overview of enzyme catalyzing or enzyme activity with the diagrammatic representation so now look at uh, another slide just this one this is just uh, how to uh, what are the changes during the biochemical reaction what are the thermodynamic changes of course so this is just overview i think you know about uh, very well because uh, you are all organic chemistry people and here uh, transition state you know i think some of the nucleophilic substitution reactions also you are done uh, with the uh, nucleophilic reactions also in that some transition energy or transition state is there so here just look at this one so two type of diagrams are there one is a with enzyme or one is without enzyme and another one is with enzyme okay look at then here the starting metal is lactose so it is an a disaccharide lactose okay lactose is an a disaccharide and the composition of the lactose is glucose plus galactose so simply that yeah, i will taking the lactose is an example so here the degradation process of lactose the final product is what it is an a disaccharide after degradation it will give two monosaccharide units one is glucose another one is galactose so here the person is there he is pulling some energy so here the arrow marks are there so this one is a starting material then lactose and here this is the transition state in between so what is the energy or enzyme so without enzyme it required more amount of energy activation energy without enzyme so here the space between these so net released content here it required some energy to pull this one okay so here the net energy released from splitting off so here this is the substrate lactose and it converts the transition energy level is high so what is the condition here the lower energy state the lower transition state is required lower transition state is always good or required for a biochemical reaction it is a quite uh, the activation energy is very low so all substrate molecules are starting materials so will have some activation energy when it come cross that activation barrier or activation energy or transition barrier now it will turns into product so here this is up to here this one is the substrate then after transition state it will give you the product okay so here the energy crossing barrier is there in between this so this is nothing but the transition state okay then look at this one so here with this is a without enzyme the first one is without enzyme and if here enzyme is present or catalyst is present in your reaction here one is the without catalyst and here this one is the with catalyst 
so it helps to improve the rate of reaction to decrease the activation energy or the lower the transition energy that is the role of the catalyst clear so here lactose is that same the enzyme is lactase so it will degrade the lactose molecule in presence of enzyme the activation energy is minimized of the lactose molecule and it will give you two products okay it is also disaccharide so same example then without enzyme is there one is a without enzyme another one is with enzyme so in presence of with enzyme the space between the net energy released content a transition so the activation energy with enzyme is very less so that's why the substrate uh, the substrate requires lesser amount of energy to convert a product in presence of catalyst that is the over your thermodynamic changes of course okay right the next one is some kinetic parameters are there so here uh, just look at this one the rate of chemical reaction is described by the number of molecules the rate of reaction or here simply this one is the k the rate of reaction we are representing the k that the rate of chemical reaction is always the number of molecules that is maybe reactants reactant 1 or reactant 2 so here substrate plus enzyme so this one is i use another pen okay no problem then let us then that are converted into products in a specified time period so here the time is also important because the rate of reaction is depends upon the substrate concentration either it may be the enzyme activity also so we can find out the kinetics of the reaction that depends upon the enzyme activity and reactants of the uh, reactants of the reaction okay reactants are nothing but the substrate molecules the number of substrate molecules number of moles of substrate molecules also then here what is iu so this is very important then what is iu so it is a international unit it is defined as the activity of the enzyme which transform so here it transform one micromole of substrate so starting material is one micromole it turns into product for one minute of time for one minute and for total one liter of sample under respected conditions either it may be temperature or ph conditions whatever it may be the optimal conditions and it is defined temperature so it is expressed as iu per l liter international units per liter with one minute of time only another unit also is there uh, we are representing uh, enzyme kinetics cattle catalytic unit so here what is the difference between these two it is a simple one then one is a transformation of one micromole okay but here the cattle is defined as the number of moles number of mole of substrate transport so here one micromole but here number of moles not in micromole the expression is different one is a micromole substrate another one is the mole of substrate that's it that is the difference between two international unit and catalytic unit or cattle catalytic unit so those two are abbreviated by uh, one is a one is k and another one is this is one a small k it represents the small k so cattle catalytic unit this is just a introduction or basic points of about uh, enzyme kinetics and enzyme so next one now let us discuss about uh, some factors which influencing the enzyme activity okay then so the reaction rate is always depends on the first for most enzyme activity for example the enzyme activity is very less the enzyme is always sometimes inactive and what about the rate of reaction and what is the reaction what are the end product the starting material may not convert into product okay i'll continue the next video tutorial